there was this young man just uh, at this car sale in Enterprise Road. He is a workman there. Then he is taking the car that is being sold there. And he wants to go with it to the car wash. As he is reversing, getting into the main road, he was hit by another car. There and there, he died. Yet at home, he said, I'll come back with meat, with whatsoever, in the evening. But no one knew that he's not going to come back. We are here, and we do not know whether we are going to see sunrise tomorrow. Let us live our lives daily as if it is our last day. When we love, let us love wholeheartedly, as if it is our last. When we pray, let us pray as if it is our last prayer. Not to say, I'll pray, then I'll pray again in the evening. You never know if you are going to see the evening. Whilst we still have time, whilst we still can, let us not postpone. Let us do it now. Do it now. Do not wait for tomorrow, for tomorrow might never come. And we should thank the Lord each time when we see sunrise. Every morning, we should thank the Lord that God has given me another opportunity. Let us thank the Lord that I am still alive and I can still make things right. Let us not be, as I said to other people, at times we become street saints whilst we are devils in the house. At times we are out there and people are applauding us, but in our families, we are devils. People do not want to see us in our own families. And it's really a point to note. What are we really doing? Let us prepare ourselves today. From the gospel we have heard that be ready always. For the master is going to come. And you don't know the time. It is now the time to be ready. Let us prepare ourselves. And how do we prepare ourselves? Just to be good to people. Just be good to people. At times, some people are in stress, depression. But if you smile at them, some are planning to commit suicide because they think no one loves them. But if you just smile at people, you never know your smile might change someone's life forever. It is very unfortunate that nowadays we are putting on these masks and you can't see someone smiling. But let me see it here, that this person is smiling at me. It's an unfortunate case that we have this mask, but it's also fortunate because some of us now, it's better because we, we were not brushing our teeth. So, but it's very, very unfortunate that we can't smile and show our smiling faces to other people. But it's a point to note. Just be good to people, whether strangers. Only girls do that to say, I don't talk to strangers. But us as Christians, let us just be good to other people, whether strangers or not. Let us be good to others. My dear friends, Today, we have so many things that we could have shared with Herbert when he was still with us, but we didn't. We failed. At times, we sinned against him. Let us take this chance and opportunity to ask for forgiveness, both from him and from God, so that God may receive him in his eternal glory. He might also have sinned against us. Let us forgive him. For his path should be as clear as possible. God will have mercy on him because he put a little effort to show that God is his master. 
If God is your master, if God is your king, if God is your Lord, just a little effort. Just a little effort will do. Just maybe to come from us just on Sundays. That will be enough for God. He just wants to see if we love him and if we can put just a little effort. And that effort will never go unnoticed. Because God is a merciful God. His mercy is without end. May he be merciful and show his merciful face to Herbert today. May he receive him. And may he also console you. We can't console the family. Only the Holy Spirit can do that properly. Ourselves, we are just here to support. But surely, true consolation comes from God and from the Holy Spirit. Because God is a merciful And God. may the Holy Spirit overshadow God's you, strengthen you, end. and may he console you. May he be merciful. And may the Lord he help us. To have it today. May he receive him. And may Heavenly Father, we come before you today with tears, very sorrowful, but also in thanksgiving for the life that you have given to Herbert whilst he was still with us, for the blessings that you have shown him for his family and friends. We continue to give you thanks and praise. Would like to pray for Herbert today that you may receive him in your eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, Console his family, his friends, and us who are journeying with him in this church. As a people of God, may they be strengthened in this life. Lord, hear us. You may add your own prayers and petitions to the Lord. Lord, gracious Lord. For these and many prayers that we have for Herbert, may you show him your merciful face and may your light shine upon him. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Herbert, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection is dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, as an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven, and so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile to us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Robert our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially to Herbert, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Remember, Lord, your servant Herbert, whom you have called to yourself from this world. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth you raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters, continue to show your perpetual light through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the day. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Lamb of God, My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May we have those who have been chosen to give us a eulogy and to read the messages. Good morning, everyone. Just a few messages from Manuela, Lorenzo, Tejana, and the boys. Papa, Papa Rakas, Herbie J, Herbie Goes Bananas, Happy J. But to you, you were my, my John. We didn't get a chance to say goodbye. You didn't even tell us that you were leaving. I thought you would be around for many years to come, but God had another plan for you. You were always there for us in good times and in bad, yet through, ev through everything, you always showed patience, kindness, and understanding. You were one of a kind, and you could not, we could have not asked for anyone better than you. I could write or say so many things that, that you have taught us. But one thing that I will say with me is your patience. And I hope one day I'll be as patient as you are. Hey, Jean, why, did you, why didn't you warn us that you would be, warn us so that it wouldn't be so painful? I guess, like you always said, everything happens for a reason and not to worry everything will be okay yet i wonder what are we going to do without you who is going to take care of mom very important function year after will never be the same without you to keep asking us Two hours before, have you ironed your clothes and polished your shoes? Jean, I hope you're dancing one, two, out the door, up in heaven, and you're singing the angels' choirs, the angels' choir. You always wanted me to sing Ave Maria, but how would I when my eyes are filled with tears and my heart is so heavy with pain of losing you? Jean, thank you for everything, and I mean everything you have done for us, because nothing was ever too much for you, for you to do for us. You are truly going to must be missed each and every day that will go by. Bread will never taste the same without you singing, give me the bread and butter, mommy. Go well, Jean, we love you in our own special way. Love, Manuela. Papa, you are an amazing man, a wonderful husband, an outstanding grandfather to all, and an even better dad. We will love you always, Dejana. Herbie J, my role model, we don't know why you had to leave us, but God decided you needed more in, he you needed more in heaven. I don't really know what to say other than this. It doesn't feel real. Words can't describe this feeling. You always, you always will be remembered. Papa, rest easy. You will always be remembered. I love you till we meet again. Lorenzo, Tash, Romeo, and Kai. Papa, from Leslie, Manuela, myself. <laughs> Lorenzo, Kira, 
Jaden Stephanus, Tiara, Man, Eli, Tejana, Kai, and Romeo, thank you for all you have taught us. We'll never forget you. St. Kitts number 18 will never be the same. But don't worry, we'll look after mum. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Before I read the eulogy, I would like to just uh, a message from my sister Sylvia um, for, for Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Herbie was quite awesome. A man who went through so many trials and tribulations and yet remained cheerful and humble. He always had this aura of joy and gentleness with him that he carried everywhere no matter who he was with. In his quiet, fun, in his quiet, fun way, he brought a lot of goodness. He was so happy with you. You both supported each other so well and contributed so much to so many young people's lives. Yes, Herbie will be missed. When I think of him now, it brings tears to my eyes. I was talking with William about the strength of Herbie and the goodness he brought that can, uh, that can easily be overlooked. And my heart was filled with joy at remembering his uh, goodness and sadness that he is gone. You, Jenny, saw his goodness and made Herbie shine. Thank you. And may the Lord give you the courage to continue. Lots of love, Sylvia. Uh, for the eulogy of uh, my late uncle, Herbert George Jumpies was born on the 23rd of January 1938 in, I think, presume, Arari, Zimbabwe. He was the fourth, son, the fourth born son of Martin and May Jampies. His brothers and sisters were late uh, Mavis, uh, late Vernon, late Alan, and Marcus, who is currently living in the United Kingdom. His junior education was at Martindale and later attended Founders High School. Uh, after that, I'm not sure exactly when, uh, he went to Rome. He was in Rome for seven years with, I think, Mr. Advez, uh, Asvedo uh, to become a brother. On the seventh year, I don't know what happened, but the two of them said, this is not really for us. And he came back to uh, Zimbabwe. He was married to his first wife, Aisha, and out of their marriage uh, had three children, the eldest uh, now late, Herbert, the twins, Moidin, late, also, and Janine, who lives in the USA. He was, quali he was qualified as a baker and also uh, worked on the railways, listen to this, as a, secu as a security guard in Zambia. At, the time, at that time, as a security guard in Zambia, he helped very prominent men in the liberation struggle. I never knew that till yesterday. Can you imagine? This is a man that was humble, quiet, that didn't do, that was just, but he helped people in the liberation, prominent people in the liberation struggle, that uh, helping them through with the trains that he was uh, security on to travel from Zamb Zambia, where he was, and Zimbabwe. Ah! It's funny. I've known this man for how many years? Ah! You know, he... he to, oh, let me carry on with the eulogy. It's, it's just... Uncle Herbie, as he was commonly known, returned to Zimbabwe after independence and worked at Nedlo as the head of uh, security. Then he bought three large bottle washing machines and went into the bottle washing business with his partner Dave, washing go, uh, glass bottles for companies like Olivine. He later worked for the Lees group of companies right until the time of his, of his death. My grandfather uh, said to me, I was his favorite grandson, by the way. <laughs> My grandfather said he was, he was very proud of Uncle Herbie because Uncle Herbie had bought his second house. My grandfather uh, was a school teacher, and as he went on his life, he, I think he went up to about 10 houses, uh, bought 10 houses. So when Herbert bought his second house, now this is a humble man, you must understand, not a wealthy, uh, all-to-do man. Worked as a security guard on the railways. 
managed to eventually buy two houses. Okay, maybe you're thinking, yeah, this side. One was in uh, Mandara, and the other one was in uh, Venona. Uh, Uncle Abi uh, and his first wife went uh, their separate ways, and he came to stay with my parents. And this is when my older brother Martin and, my, uh, and I got to really know Uncle Herbie. The three of us would go out together like three brothers. Uh, I mentioned, by the way, I mentioned uh, his remaining brother uh, is Uncle Marky, who is in the UK, uh, Lester's father. But his actual true brother was my, bro his, was my brother Martin. Those are like twins. I was just like adopted or just part of the extended family. But they were everywhere together. Uncle Herbie's favorite saying was, I remember when he came to our house, uh, you're staying with us in Greendom, and he came to the house there, uh, parked outside, and he says, hey, life begins at 40. Jeez. And I looked at this man, and I said, hey, this Bali is old, man. 40 years old. I think I was about 18 or something. I'm not sure. I don't say that anymore. I'm over, just over 55 years old, and I do not think I'm an old Bali. Anyway. I started seeing a different side of my uncle. A name change was required. Out with Uncle Herbie, in with Herbie J. This is the character. The in place at Holiday Inn and private parties, we went, the three of us. Uh, I remember when I went, to, I used to travel to Johannesburg with, uh, with Herbie J. Herbie J would have his uh, passport, and as we get to the... Um, Immigration, the customs, I think it was, that's the problem. I mean, there's an African side, there's a Balkan side. He would put in his photograph of, uh, of when he was in his brother's uh, uniform in uh, Rome. I'm not sure which, uh, who was next to him, but there were two, uh, there's another prominent person next to him from uh, Rome, I think with uh, Acadia. Uh, anyway, he would put that in his passport. So when the immigration or the, I said, what you do? They want to see all this. They must know who I am. And he always struggled with the cross on his uh, side. Ah, he was a true brother. Wherever he went, he stood. He may not have been uh, in the, 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 mo the monastery anymore, but um, he's still. Uh, anyway, let me carry on. Let me finish up. It's a, this is a short eulogy, by the way. It, uh, sometimes, I don't know, I just seem to talk a little bit extra, but it's okay. It's Herbie's day. Yeah, we used to travel. It was through Herbert, Herbie J, not Uncle Herbie anymore. It was through Herbie J that my brother Martin met the love of his life, Lolly. Amen. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is a quiet, humble man that didn't go into anything. But my brother, also quiet, doesn't talk. Met his wife, his, his wife, well, they've been married for years now. Through Herbie J. Huh. Okay, let me carry on. The one day, Happy J, we're staying together, uh, and I went to visit Martin and Lolly in Bracelet, and I, life turned out that that day that I also, through Happy J, met the love of my life, my wife Jackie. Through Herbert. I mean, I could have met Jackie some, no, through Herbert. This humble guy that doesn't talk, that doesn't, you know, he touches your life. I'm finishing. <laughs> In between that time, I'm here, Father. In between that time, how did Jay meet the love of his life, Jenny, the wife of 32 years? I don't know. You know, sometimes people come into your life just for a short period of time, some trouble they have, and they come into your life and they make such an impact that it's just what happened. So one day we're going to holiday in, we are party, going to uh, parties, private parties and things like that, there's three of us. The next thing, Martin's out of the picture. Bam! He's with Lolly. Ah! The next thing, Happy Jay, he met Jenny. Then he says, no, can't leave this young youngster by himself. Let's organize. I met, you know, ah, and I'm guess this is about Robert. Ah. <sighs> he met the love of his life. Herbie Jay and Jenny really connected. No, truly, I, 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 a 
but truly a match made in heaven. I cannot emphasize just how right they were for each other. Two lovebirds at every family gathering. Through all the, uh, the job type of trials RBJ went through, Jenny was right there to uplift him and encourage him. There's one thing with uh, Herbert. Herbert will say something or do something that you know, wasn't uh, to her, Jenny's approval. And then Jenny would say, oh, come on, Herbert. Herbert, now. That's always you. Sorry, Jenny, I just had to mention. <laughs> but, but nothing, can't say anything. Can't say anything, can't do anything. As I was saying to the people uh, last night, weren't they, Father? Um, my father would sit there on his chair in the veranda, scratching his head the whole day long. From there, he'd walk to the car, go where he's going, come back. That's about all he ever did. But funny thing, no matter how, what, from the time, any time from, I don't know how many years, but whenever Herbie J came to our house, my father got out of his chair and then chased each other like two children, not the swimming pool in the air. No one even understand this. No one could. And this is Herbie, but let me tell you, remind you, you all know it. That it had in people's lives was just, you know, sometimes we think, Father, we think, we, uh, I want to become a priest. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to become this. I want to. But God has got a plan for you. And God had a plan for Herbert. And Herbert came into our lives and changed our lives. And came with Jenny. And, ah. In English, in English, we say, Herbie J had three stepdaughters, Leslie, Tyron, and Manuela in the UK. But in actual fact, they are his true daughters. Through all, through the strong relationships they each had with their papa. Not forgetting all the grandchildren that, who loved Herbie J. Herbie J will be remembered for the humble, principled, truly religious and spiritual person that he was. And a man who went through many difficult trials, yet maintained a good character. I could not go through what he's gone through. He lost his uh, uh, eldest son. Uh, uh, it devastated him. But he still carried on and still carried on the same character. He lost his second son, but still carried on, still looking, still same smile, still everything. Really a Job type of character. He always, always joyful, peaceful, going the extra mile, soft, quiet, but so effective in people's lives. We thank God for 83 years of Herbie J's life that's touched so many people in so many different ways. Jenny, thank you from Uncle Marky and all the Jumpies family for caring for, uh, for Herbie J. Thank you so much. He, I tell you again, I told you yesterday, but I tell you again. It took, over, uh, took 40 years, and then 40 years, he met the love of his life. I'm not saying anything bad about anybody, but truly, the two of you, uh, really, 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 I don't know. I can't say more than that. Thank you, Jenny, and thank you to the family also. To Jenny and the family, may the Holy Spirit comfort you and give you strength through all this trying time. May the angels always be by your side. Amen. Thank you, everyone. By the way, I asked the people last night to open their Bibles to the book of John chapter 14, and everybody looked at me. Besides Sister Lee, Besides Sister Lee, who's been looking the same from when I was five years, she knows, she knows me from the Acadia days. Very good little boy I was. Anyway, this is Herbert's, Herbie J's prayer book. Here's his two prayer books. They have been joined up with sellotape. I don't know how old they are. I was trying to find the date when these were made. But he used them every single day. These, as Jenny says, his cell phones. He kept them and used them every day. May God be praised for man that we love so much. Thank you, everyone. Surely we would have loved you to continue and continue and continue. But for the sake of time, we will proceed with the prayers for Herbert.
My dear friends, trusting in God, we have prayed together for Herbert. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, surely. But we take comfort in hope that one day we shall see Herbert again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of God's kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Let us pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother and brother to be sure and certain hope that together we all we have died you will rise with him. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Jephthah in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and I with you and with our brother forever and ever. We ask this through Christ our Lord.